I will make my way to the drop pod, for it is time to hunt. Outlaws beware, for death's emissary comes for you. I suppose you think you've heard every story in the stars by now. Stories of war, lawlessness, death. After all, can't kick over a rock in this galaxy without finding some blood underneath. That said, this story is bloodier than most. It's about a town, a little scrap of barely anything, holding on for dear life on a rock named Gehenna. Good folk, mostly. But where there's law, there's people looking to break it. The Devil Riders. The only law they followed was a decree of iron and lead. Now, Gehenna ain't just another hunk of backwater rock. It used to be a testing grounds, back when the company ran things. The company dreamed up new weapons of war, bent beasts to their will. You name it, they tried it. Bet you can guess how that turned out. The town tried to leave the past buried, but the Devil Riders set upon digging up company secrets that could only lead to ruin. The Devil Riders waged an all-out war. The town held out against them best they could, and after decades of spilt blood, they said enough. Sheriff drew up a bounty of blood for any mean bastard crazy enough to take on the Devil Riders. And then everything, and I mean everything, changed the day the Vault Hunters came to town. That's you, Slick. The wind on Gehenna was hot as spent powder. Smelled like it too. As soon as the vault hunter's boots tasted dirt, he was off to town to see a sheriff about a bounty. Ain't that the damnedest thing? Someone. Whistling. Mind my devil, he won't bite. Unless I tell him to. Easy, Toge. Easy. They don't mean us no harm.
So, you must be the one who just crashed in a heap of dust and doom. Oh, you, hear you better believe I'm after that bounty, lass. Hope you know what you're in for, gunslinger. The Devil Riders are tough enough to chew glass and spit sand. And mean enough to steal the coins off a dead man's eyes. You want to make for town. I'm headed that way myself. You can follow me if you like. Come on, Toge. I raised that devil from birth. His name's Toge. Loyal as can be. You know, it seems to me we're not so different from the devils, you and I. Let the weak fall so the strong can survive. The sheriff sure stirred up a devil's nest with that bounty. But the way I see things, a man of law should fight his own fights. <laughs> Hear that? There's devils up ahead. I'll draw them out. Well, go on, gunslinger. I want to see how you fight. I hear you, beast. Gunslinger like you could come in handy, but I only ride with the best. Am I the best? Well, I have killed thousands and will kill thousands more before I meet death. Is that so? Well, still a ways to town. What'd you find, Toge? What do we have here? Looks near to hatching. <laughs> Ugh. This one's not worth the trouble. I need something with a little fight in it. Feeding time. Meaning it's them or us. I'm gonna put you in the phone or... survive on Gehenna. Lots of folks in town can't defend themselves. You might ask yourself if your life's worth the coin. Devil's up ahead. They're protecting some fresh kills. Or their eggs. What'd you find, Toge? <laughs> you see that gunslinger? What do you think of my devil? Seems like a good little scaly boy. -o. Yeah. Well behaved little devil, isn't he? Nice find, Toge. Toge! Damn it! 
put him down quick. Attack, little friend. That one coming. Ugh. Damn shame. Quit struggling, Toge. I'm trying to save you, damn it. Toge, that leg ain't never gonna heal right. Way of the world, Gunslinger. Useful till you're not. Well, let's see what those devils were protecting. I knew it! Perfect specimen. <laughs> Catch a devil before it hatches, and you can raise it as your own. And if you're really lucky, it won't take a bite out of you when it's older. Of course. Sheriff made it against the law to raise a devil. But he ain't here. Town ain't far now. I don't live there myself. My pets aren't welcome. I just come through from time to time for supplies. <laughs> Would you look at that? Old bastard locked the gate to town. Luckily, I've got a key right here. Go on then, gunslinger. One wanna keep the sheriff waiting. He's a busy man. I've got to get this egg somewhere safe. I'll see you on town, man. Off she went. Hard as nails, that one. Don't worry, she'll be back in this story soon enough. Vault Hunter moved on. Bounty was calling. Bet you're wondering how I know all this. Well, you'll just have to take my word for it. At times, this story might stretch near to breaking, but I swear on my mother's unmarked grave, it's true. Bastards! That ain't a devil rider. Hey there, Tomodachi. I'm Titus, Sheriff's deputy. Uh, come here for a sec. Let's have a chat. Well, look at you. Strutting into my town like you're rough as sandpaper with twice the grit. Let me guess, you're here for the bounty. I sure am. Let me at him. Uh, the partner, Tomodachi? Lost the nomenclature around here. But yes, I am all about that bounty, boy -o. Hope you're tougher than the last... Yeah, cemetery's real crowded lately. Anyway, I'll go and let the sheriff know we got another bounty hunter in town. He'll meet you at the saloon. But hey, enjoy the town. And stay out of trouble, otherwise you and me might have some trouble of our own. Huh, Titus. If he shot his gun as fast as he ran his mouth, maybe things would have turned out differently. Every respectable town's got itself a saloon. Perfect place to drink down some local knowledge and get the lay of the land. So figured the Vault Hunter. Vault Hunter wasn't sure what that thing was good for. But they'd find out eventually. <laughs> Clientele in there didn't take too kindly to outsiders. Not a bad place to air the toes, though. <laughs> no sign of the sheriff. Vault Hunter made friends with the locals. Couldn't even rightly call this swell a drink. Don't you sell me devil piss and call it a beverage, Melinda? The question was, how to get the bar's attention. Hoo -hoo! You gonna let a 
and talk to you like Now that I've got your attention, I'm Zane, and I'm here for the bounty. Where's the sheriff? What in the hell? That was my favorite song! Damn outsiders! I swear on the stone, y'all are more trouble than you're worth! Which ain't spit! Sheriff never should have drawn up that mountain. I reckon. Hey! You can't come in here and knock out our favorite drunk asshole! Drunk William was the only asshole here, except for maybe you. You leave him be. It was a classic bar fight. Both had to consider doing it the old fashioned way, rather than wasting bullets. All y'all get a hold of your damn selves, especially you, Drunk William. Knock that crap off before I knock it out of you myself. And Melinda, quit with them weak pores. People can't keep up morale on weak pores. Now listen up, everyone. Next round's on me. And as for you, newcomer, sure as the sun hides at night, it is damn fine to see you here. Come on, I want to show you something. I've been fighting the Devil Rider since I was a young man. Around here, lawman don't go gray unless he knows his way around the irons. About that bounty, decades now we've tried to take care of them Devil Riders ourselves, but gain no ground. I don't mind offering coin for blood, so long as I get that blood in kind. So do so. Quit it! I didn't do nothing to you! Learn to fight, you inbred mummer. Sheriff's called in all these roughnecks, just people like you are too scared. Proper. Damn fools. As though we don't have enough troubles around here. Say, you want to take care of this one newcomer? Bet you can't hit that hat off old Pete's domicile. Oh, so easy on him, Pete. You're gonna wake the snake. No, I won't. I'm the best. What a shot. <laughs> Dang! I can see your skin cap, Pete. And it's redder than a temple's wee -wah. <laughs> Fine shot. Let's keep moving. Quit looking at me, you aimless bastards! You're no friends of mine! <laughs> Whew. Thanks, stranger. Thought old Pete had me sorted for a minute. Well, now that we've had our fun, it's time to talk business. The bounty's straight simple. Hunt those devil riders down and I pay you for the pleasure. Hey, Sheriff! Howdy, Sheriff! Shut the hell up! Can't you see I got company? Oh, sorry, Sheriff. Didn't mean anything by it, Sheriff. Gehenna. Harsh place, I suppose. But safe enough here. Devils stay clear of town. Some folks say it's because of that. Right there. The Obsidian Stone. Town's pride and joy. Now, I ain't the superstitious type, but... If some stone gives the town peace of mind, fine by me. You know, some ain't happy I drew up that bounty, but I'm glad you're here. Those Devil Rider bastards are gonna bleed, and I got a feeling you're the one to bleed them. We're under attack! Fill your hands, you Devil Rider scum! Devil Riders, blast it to ruin! <laughs>
show them why I hired you. something of mine. I just came to get it back. Nice to catch up, Sheriff. All the Vault Hunter could do was take his badge and make sure he got to Juno. Butcher Rose had left her mark on the town, and the smart money was on her Devil Riders coming back. Whoever this Juno was, she'd better know how to fight. Sure! He's dead! Oh, mercy, no! Hey, you over there! Where's Juno? She's... she's up on the ridge. Titus! Where the hell are you, Titus? Sheriff's dead! Butcher Rose killed him! Titus! Fancy-looking tech right there. Didn't seem like the Vault Hunter could use it yet, though.
Get out here, Hatchet! We just want to catch up with you. Come on already! Get the hell out of here! Rose put a price on your head and we aim to collect. What the? <laughs> Didn't seem as though fighting would be an issue for her. Well, you ain't got no Devil Rider ink on you, so I figure you ain't with these dead bastards. State your business, stranger. Sheriff's dead. Rose often. Dead? Prove it. Got his badge right here. He said it's yours. His badge, huh? Give it here then. <laughs> Sheriff, he was the only one in town who ever trusted me, who had my damn back. No, this don't make no sense. If I pin this badge to my vest, the whole town will think I killed him. But that ain't important now. Where the hell is Rose? She ran off with that big old stone. She killed him over a damn stone? Enough's enough. You came here for the sheriff's bounty, didn't you? I'll honor it. Now follow me! Betting I know where Rose took the stone. Devil Rider hide out in the Ashfall Peaks. But first, I got something you might need. This way! Devil Riders call this a breezer. Don't ask me how these things work, but they're a hell of a ride. Here, you'll need this. Give it a try. See if you can get up on the roof. There you go! Vault Hunter went flying like a devil with his tail bit. Now grab the key you <clears throat> up top. Trust me, you're gonna like what it gets you. <clears throat> key goes to a shack outside town. What's inside was mine long time ago. You'll put it to good use, I'm sure. From the shack, it ain't far to the Ash Falls. Devil Rider hideouts up there. If I know Rose, that's where she took the stone. Got us, you little bastard! Where the hell are you? Tadis? You better not have got yourself killed or I'll kill you again! Tadis! Tadis! <laughs> Anyone seen Tadis? <laughs> Tadis! Tadis! <laughs> <laughs> Juno Shed was just outside of town. Far enough she didn't have to think about it too often. But close enough she could never quite forget. That thing would eventually prove to be a handy bit of tech. Not just yet, but eventually.
friend. That shed had stayed locked since the day Juno came to town, but time hadn't tamed the beast inside. Ain't that a sad. Not all the Devil Riders' mounts were flesh and blood. Some of them were fire and chrome. We called those jet beasts. The Devil Rider hideout was on the other side of the blast plains. With a steed of steel between their legs, it was time to ride for the Ashfall Peaks. need of you.
Ashfall Peaks. Butcher Rose's den of thieves was a ways up the mountain path. Good a place as any to start Word on had that gotten mountain. round about the sheriff's demise. The hideout was awash and the sounds of celebration. Bottles clinking, half-remembered songs, and fire in the sky. For treasure, I see. Bounty hunter, I got a little something extra I want you to do. Of course, there's a bonus in it for you. See, Rose has a whole mess of lieutenants across Gehenna. Real dangerous folk. I want you to thin her ranks and take them off the board. Find a quicker way to hunt down Lanny Dixon. She's Rose's top assassin, and word is she knows how to disappear. Have fun, Rocket.
proposition for a shooter of your caliber. The critters here have been preying on folks more than a preacher in a prison house. If you spot a body, I'll tell you where to find what killed them. You kill a critter, and I'll fetch its hide and pay you for the trouble. You're richer, town's safe, and I get more merchandise. Everybody wins. Another dead body. And I'll bet you anything this one's the work of the Abadoxes. He's a monster. Result of the company's advanced weapons testing near devil habitats, but more importantly, he's huge. Which means a lot of hide to work with. Go get him! Company scientists had some fancy name for the crystals they dug out of Gehenna's veins. Regular folks just took to calling it core. It fueled the company's weapons of war, and it did strange things to the devils and beasts. Whatever nightmares a company could dream of, core made them real. Days you are In town, Juno was looking for Titus. Of course she wouldn't find him. That pleasure was reserved for the Vault Hunter. McSmugger. Something about that name called to the Vault Hunter. A call to adventure. What is a McSmugger? I must find out. The Vault Hunter heard a cry for help. Help! Anyone out there? I can hardly believe my eyes. Is that really you, Tomata? Devil Riders don't take prisoners unless they got designs on them. Who knows when the poor bastard was in for it. Nice fighting, Tom 
Adachi. Now come on over here. Is it good to see you? Did Sheriff send you to rescue me? Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but the Sheriff's dead. Dead? He can't be. No wonder those Devil Rider snakes are so damn happy. But wait, if Sheriff's dead, who sent you? Who'd he leave in charge? Juno. What? What in ruination was he thinking? Juno? That just don't make sense. She used to be a damn devil rider. You know that, right? Sheriff's the one who took her in. Said she'd atone for her crimes. But I never did trust her. Still don't. Suppose we gotta let that lie for now, though. Come on, get me out of here. I stole this off a devil rider that was roughing me up. It's something the company made, and I thought it might come in handy. You take it. Now, you see that crystal over there? It's infused with core, called a core exploder. Give it your knuckles. Uh, quick now, get me out of here before those devil riders come back and try to beat us hollow. <laughs> Stop celebrating soon enough! Come on then! Let's show these devil riding fester cocks they ain't so damn tough! Gonna make no, you I thought that only happened in stories.
Hunter decided to crash a party. Knew there was a reason I kept you around. I'm for this. I owe you a pint for you. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 
in a hospitality. But there was nothing clean about it now. The Vault Hunter figured it was time to wash some Devil Riders in blood. Ask about our one-click buying plan. When your trigger goes click, it's time to buy. No refunds. Cormac, handle the intruder for me. I put you in charge for a reason. Lock this whole place down. You are the lady. Take your mouth. And lock the damn door just in case. There was no way in. So the Vault Hunter set about creating a nuisance to crawl now. Starting with some of their prized, ill-gotten rules. This should help. the spirit. Show Steve what happens when you mess with Nettle. I'm so hot damn happy you're here. I've lost count of the days since I was taken captive. But before I can smell the fresh air of freedom again, I need a big whiff of the sweetest scent there is. Revenge. smell him, and that's saying something. I've seen him combine a Roman... No man should be able to survive. Soapy Steve had no idea just what kind of bag he was in for. sure that your bath is anything but relaxing. It is vengeance for Nettle. So you locked me in my favorite place in the world? 
for my rescue and a revenge well drawn. Here's a little something to ask. Relax. Feeling of a nice bath to your everyday wanderer. As for me, I'm finally gonna pursue my lifelong dream. That's right! I'm gonna open a laundromat in town and live my best life. They may have been filthy outlaws, but they still enjoyed a nice bath. Long time where it hurts. Oh, I was really looking forward to a nice dinner later on. 
guess we'll have to fix it once you're dead, gunslinger. They weren't taking the bait, so it was time to find something a little more destructive. something stayed my hand. Devil Riders were gathered around a screaming fella, tattooing him. The ink was sparkling with core. Soon the fella passed out from the pain. Devil Riders laughed. That's when we let loose. Rivers ran red that night. Tormash! Haven't seen you in a time! How goes it, friend? I love the heads up. 37 of my closest rivals. Now I reign supreme! The bloodbath is mine! And you, Steve? I finally kidnapped the soap maker! Now, whenever I claim a new victim, I have their fat rendered down into soap! I finally found my thing! I make victims into soap! How cool is that? Very cool. Very cool indeed. I'm proud of you. Thanks! Even started calling myself Sophie Steve. Hope it catches on. <laughs> I made the blood of my enemies, and you make yours into soap. We are quite the pair. Best friends forever! You can count on that, buddy. I knew a very intriguing woman who once said, Fire solves many things. There was bound to be something highly flammable about. Explosive would do the trick. Whether it was a good idea or a bad idea, well, that was hard to say. They're trying to burn down my damn bathhouse. Get up there and stop them, you bastards! Well, that sure got their attention. At the time, it was just another gunfight. It wasn't until a few years later we all started calling that day the Bathhouse Massacre. Scent of lavender and blood hung in the air. The Vault Hunter moved deeper into the heart of the hideout, figuring that was going to be. All right, Gunslinger, all right. Get the light on. Good morning,
Vault Hunter justifiably and intelligently came to the conclusion that this was a key to a secret room. Every hideout's got one or two. You've got Greg Benson, I'll give you that. I should have killed you when I had the chance. But right now, I got a train to catch. See you around. Oh, and when you get back to town, tell the hatchet to get the wrong side. Now, I'd like to tell you that's where the Vault Hunter found the stone. But look, that ain't the truth. <laughs> hey, somebody out there? If it wouldn't trouble you overly much, I'd appreciate some help getting out of here. Well, well. It's about time someone came along. I was thinking I might die here. <laughs> Guess not. You did come here to save this old troubadour, didn't you? I did not. Where is the stone? The stone? No, it's the damnedest thing. Butcher Rose was making me play this melody to the stone over and over. Don't really know why. It sounded like Rose ran off with the stone because you were nipping at her heels. I don't know where she took it, but I do know this. Stone, it ain't a stone. Then what is it? It's an egg, if you can believe it. I swear to ruin it. It's true. It's the kind of monster from the company game. Rose called it the Ruiner. Go on. Before the Vault Hunter came to town, Ruiner was just a word. Which since then, they make signs on their hearts when they hear it. Juno would want to see this. Thanks for springing me. I'll see you back in Vestige. Hopefully. Hard to believe. We've been sleeping next to this monster thing for all these years. This is gonna make for one hell of a summer. Time to head back to town and tell Juno the news.
Tana. Hello? 